All right, welcome to another episode of Power Burn. As you can see, it's just me. Chuck is off on CIA mission stuff, uh, country undisclosed. Brian is busy being a really good dad. So, uh, luckily enough for me, a Patreon member of ours decided to drop this bottle off. Um, I'm really excited to give it a try, uh, and we'll just we'll see what we we think. I've seen some people post that it's you know, a disappointment. They didn't really enjoy it. And I've heard other people say it's a really good bottle. The good news is it comes from Jim Beam. And as far as I'm concerned, as far as limited editions go, at least the last two years, Jim Beam has really been just the best place to get limited editions. This year, I think even more so, they got limited editions in all the different price ranges. Uh, they got this guy that I'm going to show you here in a bit at the $75 range. They've got the Booker's release that is coming in at like the 120 range. Then you get the Knob 18 that's going up in the 150. And then if you want to go crazy in the $200 range, you got Old Granddad 16 year old and you've got the Booker's Limited. So they've got the whole price gamut set up. So if you want a limited edition, or something that's only going to come out maybe once, maybe once a year, something like that. I really think Jim Beam's kind of the place to look right now because they've got everyone's price bracket set up. But tonight, what we're going to try is this brand new, beautiful bottle from Jim Beam, which is the Baker's High Rye. It usually looks just like this guy right here. So they've got the regular Baker bourbon, which is seven years. If you're careful and you look on the tag, sometimes you can find them older. I've seen some as far as eight years out there now. Um, my local Target has a couple, and they're really, really good. So this one is the High Rye Mash Bill. It's limited edition. It's coming in at seven years, nine months. Rumor has it, if you do a little bit of research, it's the exact same mash bill as Old Granddad. So all those people that couldn't get Old Granddad 16 at 100 proof for $200, you can get this guy, uh, same mash bill, seven years, but at 107 proof for $75. So let's crack it open and see what we think. So, I mean, right off the bat, I love the bottle. It's super amazing. We can talk about the cork. Like, I'd like a little more beef to the cork. But as far as the, bo as far as the bottle goes, it's beautiful. I like the green. May make some people think it's a rye. It's not a rye. It's just a high rye bourbon. So, it's still going to have those bourbony notes. But, I mean, it's a very beautiful bottle. So on the nose, you get a whole lot of caramel, you get vanilla, but you get so many rye baking spices in there. I mean, it's got a lot of rye notes. Very herbal, very floral. Uh, it does make me think of like old granddad 114, but just not as uh, buttery, uh, caramely forward it's a little more subdued in that sense a little bit of honey clove yeah it's it's a great nose i could just sit here and smell this for a while which i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull a little chuck all right let's see what we think cheers All right, so first sip, definitely higher proof, and that rye spice is coming through on it, but it's a little thin, to be honest. I wanted a little bit more viscosity, uh, really just cling to all the different parts of your mouth, which I'm not getting on this one. All right, so that second sip, getting a little bit more. Definitely very sweet up front, very honey. Uh, not a lot of brown sugar or vanilla caramely notes, 
uh, more of a uh, creme brulee crust. So more of that uh, white sugar uh, type of stuff. Uh, and then you get a lot of the herbal rye notes coming through. Um, a lot of that clove and not, not the grass or hay notes, just very floral and herbally. Yep. And then that finish just lasts for a nice long time. It is not a burning finish by any means. It's just a smoldering heat back there with a little bit of those rye notes, spices, maybe a little bit of black pepper coming in. Overall, just a very delightful pour. Uh, for 75 bucks and a seven-year age statement, I think you're getting one heck of a quality bourbon. Now, the question, of course, is, is it rather, is it better than the regular Baker's? And I mean, I'll just sacrifice for everybody out there. Let's give it a try. So again, the only thing distinguishing the two bottles is the high rye has got the green label. It should be, even though it is limited, out there in the real world for you guys that don't live next to the distillery, uh, able to find it and pick it up. Uh, but yeah, I don't. It, they didn't say exactly how limited it is, and they're all single barrels. So I guess I got to put that as a disclaimer. So if like I say it's really good, and then you're like, "Wow, this is terrible," I just had a better single barrel. So on the regular bakers. Definitely nowhere near as good of a nose. There's just none of that spice or rye notes coming in that really just punch you uh, a little bit more in the nose and really elevate that nose. You're just getting like vanilla and brown sugar and a little bit of caramel, maybe some oak. But there's none of those wonderful... Uh, floral and herbal notes that you get with the rye one. Now, I will say, the regular Baker's, I feel like, has much more of a viscous mouthfeel. It definitely coats the mouth a lot more, which I do appreciate, so I don't exactly know how the oils are working out on that, that it's coming out a little bit more. Yeah. So on the, the palate and the finish, you get all that honey, brown sugar, caramel notes really just coming out. And then in the transition, what you kind of missed in this guy was a lot of the oak note because I think the rye spices overpower that. And on the regular Baker 7, all that oak and black pepper come out in the finish in a nice transition to that. And it just coats that mouth and the finish just keeps coming and coming and coming. So, I mean, I think they're both absolutely amazing. Uh... Way back when, when we got a Baker's 13, I was the same way on this, that I like the regular Baker's a little bit more. That being said, this Baker's High Rye is very, very delicious. It's something a little bit different. If you like those rye notes, so think of like a Four Roses, uh, this is, a, I think, a great thing to have. I think if you see one, you're not going to be sad if you pick it up. But once again, it just goes to show that this Baker's seven year is probably something from Jim Beam that's really slept on that shouldn't be. Uh, again, at the $70 price range for a seven or eight year, 107 proof bourbon, you're getting some amazing value. And I think, again, that's what Jim Beam is doing is they're putting out limited editions that are great value to maybe make you interested in their regular lineup. Uh, because if you see uh, limited edition bakers, you're like, oh, I'm going to pick that up and try it because I have to have that on my shelf. And then maybe that brings you to this regular bakers that I personally think is a little bit better than the uh, high rise seven year. It's just my opinion. 
If you found one and you've tried it, let me know what you think. Uh, but other than that, cheers. We'll see you next time.